we know that the USDA standard has been taking some hits with, um, well, in recent years, they've allowed hydroponic to be certified organic, um, which completely takes away from the point of organic, which is soil based, where yeah. we're, we're taking care of the earth, to take care of us, and and now we're able to put, um, you know, plants in water and call it organic, and that seems like it could work, especially in urban areas. But go down to Florida and tour an organic um, blueberry farm, and they have all the blueberries in pots and there's uh, a line of, of water, of nutrient-rich water going to each pot. And that's all organic. The substrate soil that they're in no. is organic. The inputs are organic, but the land is sprayed and decimated and wow. they're, cause they just, they can spray, spray whatever they want on it, wow. glyphosate. Um, and so they're actually destroying it. So um, that's why the Real Organic Project started was um, in, in light of that change in the USDA standard um, that took out soil, yeah. um, and that allowed soilless agriculture to become organic. What, what's your opinion on the forage feed or the beefiness of the plant in soil versus hydroponic? Do you think there's a difference? Say that again. So uh, is there a difference between the plants mm -hmm. when you grow it in hydroponic mm. versus you grow it in soil? Yes. And so yeah. what's the difference? 